<laughs> it was amazing. And there's something about the consistency with it. And this is, I want to talk to you guys about a psychological concept called intermittent reinforcement. I know it sounds fancier than it actually is. Basically, it's when someone is only reinforcing a behavior some of the time. So to keep it simple, like in a classroom, if everyone's raising their hand to be called on, if the teacher calls on you all of the time, or if the teacher calls on you none of the time, you're less likely to raise your hand, okay? If the teacher only calls on you some of the time, you're more likely to raise your hand, right? Because you don't know if it's gonna happen for you. So intermittent reinforcement is also seen in things like gambling. Like sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. You don't really know when is gonna be like your lucky time. Reinforcement, intermittent reinforcement also happens with <laughs> parents in the grocery store. Like if the kid is crying for a toy, if the kid is crying for candy and you do it some of the time, but you don't do it all of the time, they are more likely to cry and ask for candy because they don't know. And that's the the piece that makes it so, I don't know if enticing is the right word, but there is a neurological response where because there's this open question mark, you don't know if it's actually going to happen. So you keep asking, you keep doing it. And unfortunately, just to take it a little bit more extreme is this is what happens in abusive relationships. So you get loved on like some of the time and then you get abused some of the time and you don't know where, when, how, if, right? There's no predicting it. So the intermittent reinforcement, just the like the quick like touch-ins here and there, it keeps you hooked on it. There is complete neuroscience behind this. So I bring this up because I realized in previous partnerships that there was a lot of slick shit that was being said and there was a lot of double entendres and underlining meanings and different things that actually made me question my capability, that actually made me doubt my desirability, where I didn't feel super attractive, I didn't feel like I could actually go out and execute it. And I stayed with these partners, and I'm thinking of one in particular, for quite a long time and was definitely engaged in and out for a while and part of that was this intermittent reinforcement where there was enough compliments like there was enough support or some sort of affirmation going on but there was also more of the I don't want to say like digs but also more of the unsupportive things <laughs> that were being said and going on too and so that was something I had not experienced this level of consistency with this gentleman who was like, you got it, you have it, you're sexy to me. Like always, 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 always. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter how you're doing it. It doesn't matter who you're talking to. To make it happen, it will happen. You have it in you. You got it. it you got it going on. <laughs> it's like to be what he said all the time. So... That is something I think is super important. And then once again, just being conscientious for all of you to really look at your relationships and be like, okay, what is actually being reinforced consistently? And then what isn't? And sometimes it's like under the surface where there is a compliment, but it's not actually a compliment all the way through. The layers, the love, the support, the hype isn't rooted in anything. It's only rooted in um, manipulation.